G'day, Rob Paxavanis here from the Fishing Australia TV program, and I'm going to show you through my estuary lure box. It's the box that I actually use, and I've used this particular box for a few years. I keep adding and changing a little bit here and there, but it's a kit that has caught primarily flathead brim and whiting for me um, when I'm filming. But I also use it in the freshwater for things like trout, bass, and even golden perch. And of course, you'll catch a stack of other species in the fresh and salt water as well um, with a little kit like this. I'm primarily going to focus on the hard bodies that I use from the Atomic Range. Um, I'm going to touch on soft plastics. Primarily going to talk about flathead, but I'll also touch on brim and whiting and the lures in general so you know which one to use wherever you live around Australia. But um, let's start off with some of my favourites in my little estuary lure kit here. That little beauty there, whether I'm off the bank you know, here on the Sunshine Coast after school with the kids and I'm grabbing my backpack and I'm just heading off for an hour or so fishing, wading the flats or walking the bank or whether I'm on the jet ski um, or whether I'm on this pontoon boat out on the passage or whether I'm travelling around uh, filming Fishing Australia. That's the little kit that I take for the estuary. And my favourite ones for a start are these little guys here, the medals. Now that's the 35 mil which is one eighth of an ounce. Um, they also make a quarter ounce model and they do go right up to some really big ones which you can use for deeper holes and in the offshore. But I mainly use this little one eighth job and he'd be the first lure I take anywhere from oh, about a meter deep or deeper. Um, sometimes I'll use them up on the flats and burn them across the top or high stick it to keep out of the weed but I'm primarily hitting meter or deeper up to you know four, five, six meters deep. Um, that lure throws off a heap of, heap of shake you use it the same way that you use a plastic um, for flatties. You hop it across the bottom. Very, very importantly, um, is there one on this? Um, let me grab one right over there. Very, very importantly with these lures, um, whether you're using the, the hard or the soft plastic, you've got to keep it tight on the drop, which means, oh, you won't see that Emily, that's okay, but when it's sinking, Easy when there's no wind, let it sink and hit the until it's just about down and hits the bottom. Okay, when it hits the bottom, you'll see the line relax. Lift, but don't drop that rod tip too quick and throw that lure slack because it'll just it'll just bomb down. There's two things about that: fish don't like it as much because it doesn't look as natural, and you don't feel the bite. That's okay with a light plastic because a flatty will come along and suck it in. But with a hard body, you really, really want to stay tight on the drop. And even with plastics, tight on the drop is important. So the thing is to lift. Drop the rod tip slow and wind quicker than you're dropping the tip. And that keeps that line tight. And that way you're going to register every bite. It's going to look natural and your catch rate is going to go through the roof. And if you miss a fish, you, at least you know he's there, but it works really well. You're ready to strike because those fish can be really quick sometimes. I'll suck it in and spit it out. You won't even know they're there. But that little guy there um, comes in a variety of colors and there's a huge range. I'll, um, I'll open up that book and give you a quick look at them here. Now, you can go to the um, Atomic website or, more importantly, just go to frogliesoffshore.com.au. But look at, look at some of the colours in there. This is their catalogue. Look at some of the colours you can get. Beautiful stuff. And before I go too far, I'm a, a quick little chat about the rods that I use because they're also in the Atomic Arrows range as well. Well, these are, they're in the atomic range, they're known as arrows. Um, all these lures here are basically running them across an arrows rod, except the, the bigger atomics, which I'll talk about later. I just basically use a heavier rod, but um, the Starkey family, a very mad keen estuary fishing family uh, from the central coast of New South Wales, um, down at Evans Head there in Ballina, that's, that's their home turf. But they fish a lot and they know their stuff. But these rods they've got here, the arrows range, um, huge range this is the estuary model here two piece seven foot two to six pound i use it a lot but they have specialist um, brim surface rods brim crank rods in this range and slightly heavier ones and bait rods as well and you just won't find a better value for money rod all the fuji components beautiful blanks and just a pleasure to use and they won't break the bank and i use those a lot um, and they make rods right up the heavier stuff you can use offshore but if you're looking for a rod, great. Primarily, I've got four pound braid, a nice little spin reel around that sort of 1,000 to 2,000 size, maybe 3,000 because reels are different sizes depending on the brand. And I'm using anywhere between four pound leader 
for the Brimham Whiting, up to eight or 10 pound leader for the flathead, if you're chasing big flathead in particular, because um, they do have, have raspy teeth. So that's my rod there. Let me hold it back there. And um, back to the lures. Now, the second lure that I, I carry a lot, and it's equally as favorite to the metals, is this little guy. The semi hards vib or vibe in a 40 mil. Okay, she's soft as you can see. Um, really loans itself to scenting up, which I'll talk about later. But it casts a bit further, sinks a bit quicker, a um, bit heavier gauge trebles. So I use that a lot too. Got every confidence in both of those. One thing I do do with the little guys here, the little metals, is when um, those beautiful fine trebles of quarter, you know, half a dozen flatties or so. Uh, brim or whatever else you're catching and they get a bit beaten up a quick change in the in the field is to put some of these doubles on here because they just clip on really quickly and um, there you go they're the double 21 from gamma cat so these are a size 10 but sometimes use an 8 or a 12 depending on the size of the um, the hards that i'm using but um that's you can see that's part of my kit it stays in the in the backpack and i use that a lot so we've gone through the the vibe style things um Next, we're going to look at the, the crank or the bib type lures. Now, the 38 crank is a famous lure amongst brim fishermen. That's the mid. It also comes with one with a smaller bib, which is the shallow, and also one with a larger bib here, which is the deep. Um, just, yeah, famous on the brim. Uh, a slow roll is generally what you use around rocky areas, weed beds, all that sort of stuff. Um, down south when you're chasing the black brim of paws is very important. Once again, they come in a massive range of colors and they're always bringing out new ones like the pearl chartreuse there. And there's another new one called the prawn tiger as well. Um, just a, a great brim lure, also good on the flatties, but you've got to use them in a way that they're close enough to the bottom. The, the shallow one, for example, is good in a meter of water because the flatties will come up off the bottom in a meter of water to smack a lure. The mid, you know, you might get away with a couple of meters for flatties and the deep, maybe up to three meters. Don't use them so much on the flatties, um, but they are very good, particularly say if it's windy and you're struggling to throw your vibes, which has to be pretty windy, not to, not to throw the little, um, the hards, the, the metals vibe and the, um, the semi hards vibe there as well. But um, these are good for beginners because you can slow roll them and your line's tight. So they're handy as well if you're fishing a consistent depth of water where it's near the bottom where the flatty's gonna grab it. But if you're after a brim lure, um, <laughs> you won't find better than that. Um, the other one I've got here is the Minnow, the Minnow 40. I've got the new packs there, you can see that there. That's a, like a more of a subtle presentation of the, um, of the vibe, which I, you can twitch that through the water and it, it works quite well as well, particularly if you're trying to imitate a more slender bait fish. Um, they're sort of, we're moving our way through um, from, from deep through to the shallower water. And look, frogbees have a stack of other lures in the range. Um, you know, look, look at that. They're gonna get through them all. But, you know, frogbeesoffshore.com.au, they're just a massive range of finesse estuary lures. Um, but we're going to move on to the surface lures now. Probably the most famous one. Actually, that's a in the, in the Bass Day range. It's a sugar pen. Comes in various sizes. Um, it kicked the craze off for, for whiting, okay? Um, but we've also got the K9 in the Atomic range, which comes in a, a pup, which is a little one. Um, a tiny little one here, like that. That's the prawn tiger colour there. The walker and the bulldog, which is the largest one. So... They're good when you're fishing the flats. You know, you're in a, a metre, a metre and a half of water. Sometimes deeper, the flatted brim and whiting will come up at certain times, but you know, about a metre of water or so, where you've got patchy weed, you're fishing the surface and it's shallow enough for those flathead and brim to come up and smack it. Um, one trick I am gonna um, show you is, look, I've got one of my favourites here. This is a new pearl chartreuse, I use that a lot. Um, when you're walking the dog, I mean, whiting love a moving lure. They don't like a pause usually, but when you're walking the dog, that's a technique where you've got to make the little twitch left and right like that. The trick is you pull it and it'll twitch to one side. Don't leave it too long because the line, the line pressure alone will pull it tight. You've got to time it so that you twitch it again before that, before it straightens up on its own. You keep walking the dog like that. It's a fun retrieve. Um, whiting will also take a steady retrieve. Flatted and rim love a pause. But one thing I am going to show you that's very handy um, is this little technique. And if you hold the line just above the lure, uh, the reel, sorry, uh, not so close that it gets tangled, but about there, and you wind, it makes that jerking motion. 
and look at that rod tip flicking there it will make that lure just tick 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 across the top like a little prawn flicking away and these little little um, canine pups are just a beautiful little sort of imitation of a tiny little prawn or bait fish flicking across the top and that's what they're used for um, I think that's most of the range I mean if you look all these lures will catch big flathead um, they're dynamite on bass trout I often use them when I go to the snowy mountains or down Tasmania as well um, you know there's few better lures for searching up bass in that little metals there but these are all great on bass as well um, you know I catch tarpon I, I here alone in my backyard I've caught like 20 30 species on these lures here and, and once again my favorites are probably the little metals and the, and the semi hard just because they're so versatile but if you're chasing big flathead you will catch big flathead on any of these um, these are the new slim twitcher range which come from uh, 95 or so they're expanding the range all the time right up to 145 obviously you're starting to chase stuff like jackson barra more so with this sort of thing but um if you're expecting big flathead uh, you want to give them a bigger meal these are something that's new on the market as well i'll touch on softies very quickly um these are my two favorites in the atomic range the the prong you can see them there on my kit ready to go they imitate a prawn and the little paddle tails here there that's a two and a half inch one but they come in a few different sizes and that's my daughter's favorite color the pink core but i also love the white um, and they make a black which is indispensable when you're chasing things like um, redfin and golden perch in the fresh water one thing i am going to say is i very very often put on a bit of this if i'm covering ground really quickly with poppers or vibing quickly and just having a quick bit of a prospect it's not so important but I like to have some of this on. It gets a little bit burly happening in the water. Um, if there's a fish there and it's not quite sure, this trips them over the line. I've used scent for a long, long time now. I've helped develop a few, and this is one of the best I've, I've used. The Mega Strike comes in a few different flavors. Put that on every half a dozen casts or so when the fish are a bit fussy, and that helps a lot as well. All these lures will catch fish without scent, no problem at all. Um, you know, flathead go from suicidal to sometimes you've, I've had giant flathead and I watched the one of my live prawns crawl across their nose and they're not interested in it but they they will snap you've got to f figure out those big mummers when it's when it's their feeding time you come back with any of their lures and that they'll smack these lures so that's a few things um yeah leader fluorocarbon leader very important um yeah so look there's much more to there's much more to learn but that'll really get you started um, cover ground when you lure fishing you know don't sit on the, in the one spot too long unless you've found a few big fish there and you know that they're going to come back and have a chew later um, scent it up and have a crack at it later um, you know jump on the frogwees offshore site frogweesoffshore.com.au check out their lure range these guys once again they're they're an aussie family that makes lures for our conditions they know to put beautiful light hooks they know the importance of finesse tackle and um, they'll really help you and some of my all-time favorite lures are in this range and uh, you'll have to trust me they'll serve you well